are live, we are live, we are live in the house. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, all three of you guys. Good evening to you. Welcome to Yardy Belly's Kitchen. Yeah, it shows. It shows you. So hi guys, how are you doing on this beautiful Tuesday evening? This is a random, spontaneous live post. Um, we're making some chicken soup. And Tuesdays is not the typical day when people make soup. I think it's Saturdays or some other day. Thursday? I don't know. But today we're making some chicken soup because the boy is not feeling well. He has a cold. Yeah. That's the little boy. The little boy is not feeling good. So we are about to, well, yeah, the belly is about to make him some chicken soup because chicken soup is awesome for treating specifically a cold and i was told that you have to use the chicken with the skin on i need to look at the science of that what is in the chicken skin that actually um aids in getting all of that virus out of the body but yeah it is believed that the chicken with the skin included which normally we do not cook with the chicken skin if we're cooking on the chicken if we're making soup no matter what we normally Tira, unless you're making fried chicken if we're making fried chicken then yes we would go ahead and you have to leave on the skin in that case because of course you know that nice crispiness you need to get that nice crispiness with a fried chicken but every other chicken we normally rip off the skin but in cases where we're trying to make the soup for the specifically to treat a cold then we leave the skin on you know why they leave the skin on because the skin, I, this is what I heard. The skin has en enzymes that alleviates the cold. Okay. So. Right. So whatever enzymes are present in the skin of the chicken, it helps to get rid of all of the virus from the body. Right? So the only reason why I told him to go live, I was the one to suggest that he go live because he does his, he starts his soup off differently from most people, I think. Well, definitely different from me. Hey guys, hello. So I'm assuming might be other people do not start their soup that way either, but I think it's interesting and it makes a huge difference in the outcome of the soup and the taste of the, the soup, right? So that's all we want to show you today. So he has already gotten the ball a rolling, so. Let me come over there, show them. Oh. What's in the bowl? Right. All right. So in the bowl, I have the chicken, and I've gone ahead and seasoned it up. Right. He has seasoned the chicken with turmeric, Old Bay. Let me put them down so you can. Old Bay turmeric powder. A little of this. A little bit of this seasoning salt. Which is a seasoned salt, a little bit of tandoori, which is new to me. I'm not really familiar with tandoori or what it is. Let me fix this. Yeah. All right. Right, tandoori. And, and some cayenne, Joe's cayenne pepper. pepper. Right, and the turmeric is what gives it that cur curry looking Which color. Which just done? I don't know, I think it probably just hard up or something. Wait, wait for hard up. Right. <clears throat> mm. So guys, you tell me, do you guys season your chicken before you put it in your soup? Because I definitely don't do it. Well, now I do it because I learned from the best. But normally I wouldn't season my chicken. Because we feel like the soup pot is, you know, seasoning the whole thing. And the next know, thing is, a lot of people marinate theirs. Wait, wait, wait. You mean a lot of people marinate what? Marinate the chicken for some period of time. Well, 
that put for it in soup? the yeah no 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 not for soup but yeah so i just season it up like this guys and then i'm using olive oil there a little bit of olive oil not that much and if you're watching if you're online just go ahead and give us a thumbs up I already saw a couple thumbs up so go ahead and give us your thumbs up if you're online this is interactive guys so we would love if you talk to us <laughs> yeah they got that right yeah mm. so you go so joshua sick and me feel sort of sick too so but I never want to say it because I don't want to bring down the spirits. All right, so I'm just dumping my chicken in, in the hot pot. Right, and this is a huge difference like I was explaining before with how he does his soup and how most people does their soup. So by actually sauteing the chicken in the pot first, it actually gives the chicken itself flavor. You ever had chicken soup? And when you're eating the chicken, the chicken just tastes bland and it looks it don't look very appealing. To me, I don't like when the chicken looks white in the in the soup and you know, not very appealing. So this helps to infuse a lot of flavor into the chicken before it goes into the soup. <laughs> yeah. Oh I have rosemary in there as well. Okay. dried rosemary because i want the soup to be as herbaceous as possible mm -hmm. you know you want it to be medicinal um a lot of asian cooking involves adding medicinal herbs to their their meal mm -hmm. and so that's one of the things that i wanted to do to make this really stand out okay. you know? So we're just gonna bring up the heat and let this start to brown as it as it is. Just it. Juice. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Juice. Right. Good evening to you. Thanks for dropping through. We're just doing a little quick thing. We're not actually gonna complete the whole video. Uh, um, of course, because of how long it takes to make soup. I mean, I really take that long, but you know. With GCB Woods, good evening, family. Good evening, big up yourself. Thanks for logging on. And you see the skin on there? That is what is going to do the magic, the chicken skin. This is one time when I'm not going to advise you guys to take off the skin if you're actually trying to, you know. Make you, chicken soup for the soul. For the core, for the soul. <laughs> Cook some big chicken myself this evening. Cinnamon, paprika, pimento, and turmeric. Massive. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Cinnamon. Yes. That's awesome. But I love that. That, that flavor, they sound like tandoori flavors. It's a spicy. Okay. That sounds interesting for you. Mm -hmm. But pretty much, I'm not, I'm not trying to cook the chicken because it's going to... Fall, fall apart anyway. Mm -hmm. I just want to infuse the chicken with flavors. Mm -hmm. Oh, he said not, not a lot of cinnamon, just a touch of the cinnamon. Okay. Good, good. good. I'm going to add some green seasoning. Boy, baby Allen. <laughs> that soup will be very intelligent. <laughs> Trust me, the soup will be very intelligent. And guys, if you are in the US and you celebrated Labor Day yesterday, let me just say a happy belated Labor Day to you all. Then she never labor. It, no, I was quite in my bed. It was a rainy, like seriously, it was a stormy labor day yesterday so for those who took the labor literally I have to say <laughs> you guys. See, sorry you see all of this that is forming on the bottom here guys mm -hmm. very important that's very important to your flavors good evening ddl thanks for logging on we are making some chicken soup for the little boy especially because he's not feeling too too well so so just keep stirring. Turn it down. Turn it down. Yeah. 
I'm wash just them. washing some wash them. herbs, parsley and, and cilantro mm -hmm. and some scallions, yes. garlic and some petite potatoes. Okay. And you're going to add thyme to it? Eh? Yeah. And you're starchy? No. Yeah. Start to move the add and go away. <laughs> so, alright. Go on back and go turn this up for the, the chicken bun up. Alright. I would love to know the, the proper pronunciation for your name, Juicy. It sounds like Juicy to me, but I doubt that is the correct pronunciation. But he said he does. They don't have Labor Day in England. It's not her he. It's a she. It must be a she. Why? Because that's Juicy. Juicy. I don't know. I don't know if it's a man or a woman. Juices, we need your, your your pronunciation. And gender. Okay, it's Joseph. Okay, okay, it's like Joseph. Okay. And gender. And you are a male or a female? Let us know because we don't want to butcher nothing over here. We don't and have. Talks, I got you for the ladies, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, him talk some different words when I'm talking to the ladies. Then, so if no one fit, then tip the thing. If it's <laughs> it's not a lady, it's a man. Oh, Jesus, help us over here. Okay. Um, that's my message. Click back live chat. The middle one. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he said, don't have Labor Day in England, but I had holiday in because of christening the day before. Oh, because of a christening the day before. Got to go enjoy the surf. All right, Joseph, bless up yourself. I'm a he. <laughs> big up my own, big up. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I'm a male. No gal, them here. Ha 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 ha. Big ha. up my youth. You see? <laughs> Alright, so let me just put some stuff in the soup now, guys. The soup will make. So I'm just putting in all the potatoes. The, a potato? Mm hmm. All no, potato, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Somebody named just read in the comments. <laughs> hey, chicken, look good, man. Good evening, just read in the comments. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, thanks for, for logging in for the couple minutes. Joseph, bless up yourself until next time. Log on Thursday for breakfast live. As we said, this one is just spontaneous. Never have any soup cooking plans for the evening, but it just so happened that we just decided to do that because, as we said, a little boy. All right, again, this is not how I would normally do my soup either. I don't normally saute any of the food everything normally start with water for my soup <laughs> and then when the pot start boil that's when i start adding in my stuff that's chicken and that's everybody that's but let me tell you something guys this method that this yard belly person out going on is work make the something so much tastier remember i told you just reading the comments says evening i'm good <laughs> good evening i'm good thanks for logging on i think it's my first time seeing you on but if not welcome back if it is the first time welcome and to all the other first timers big up yeah big up on yourself we we don't take it for granted that you guys take time out of your busy day your busy schedule to log on. <laughs> They've been logging on from Jamaica. Big up yourself every time. Blessed love. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright. So, in addition to the pumpkin and the chicken, we are just going to be adding some other ingredients. Yes. Ingredients. 
curry is coming out, yeah? But like, how much chicken is in this pot still now? There's a lot of chicken. <laughs> That's, that's not a crib I'm starting there right now. It's a good thing to start eating back meat because the chicken is here. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Give me one side of these. Oh, they be, they be watching from work. Okay, okay. Mind them fire. Wow. What time now? Isn't it late always? Alright, so we have chayote squash, we have corn. Chocho, we have corn, we have carrots. And a chocho, you can't say chocho. It's water. A chayote. I will answer. Chayote squash, you can't say chocho. If you say chocho, the spa, Hispanic, they're going to think you're talking about something else. Oh, but now Spanish people don't really watch this here. Them watch it. <laughs> Remember, so we have the viewers from Venezuela. All right, guys. So this is called, I think the, the scientific name for it is it's chayote, right? Yeah, chayote. But bad rock people say chocho. No, Jamaicans. Oh, it's only Jamaicans? Jamaicans call so it chocho. Oh, they call something else cho The Spanish call something else cho Yeah, that thing there. But I think that part ja of but the Jama female you know, Jamaicans do refer to that as chocho too, you know. Oh. Yeah. Because when you were little and your parents don't want to call the real name, them say, make sure you be. Be in your chocho. Make sure you watch your chocho good. My boss, I watch. We all agree that we will sort out the chicken. With liquor rice. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. Typical Jamaican. We just love rice. But trust me, this soup is going to sell off. And the, the constant churning and, and sauteing is just so everything gets some of the chicken flavor. And you don't burn the bottom. Of right, and you don't make the stuff stick. Normally when you put veggies in the pot it should spring water but I notice the foreign vegetables them them I'm hardly spring no water. I mean I understand why the foreign vegetable them don't want spring water. A GMO. Hmm. You know if a GMO or EMO or what kind of or white some cake. Alright, so right. After everything is added to the pot, that is when you put the water. You don't have to put hot water, you just put regular just water. Regular water. Right, right, right. And like I asked before, guys, if you are watching, go ahead and give Yardy Belly a thumbs up. If you like this method, if you've ever tried this method, let us know. Is this how you make your chicken soup? Or do I'm you sold. make it like I make it? With a pot of water, and then you just throw everything afterwards. But immediately from the start, make it the house, the whole house smell good enough. Mm -hmm. You have to make them know that, you know. Right. When you start make it like how I make it, as you put the chicken in, the whole neighborhood knows how I make soup. Mm -hmm. Some of us have cut up some guys, and again, I'm making my soup as medicinal as possible. So I'm making tons of garlic. Because garlic is original medicine. Yeah, Z. Alright, do I have any more garlic? No. Nah. It's not moving. It's stuck. It's stuck? Mm -hmm. How you move? I can't know too much. You have to exit all the time. Start over. It exit. feels hot. Press X. Your phone is hot. Are you e sure? Okay. 